Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, it's Korzak. Welcome back to part 26 of the Platinum Walkthrough for Dark Cloud 2. So in this video, we're getting all the missable photos in Chapter 5, we're going to get 100% Giorama, and we are going to defeat the boss in this chapter. So, uh, we're going to start off with some missable photos. Anyway, just place a straw house somewhere, it does not matter where. Okay. So now we're just gonna leave. Let's just go on over here to the station. All right, that should be good enough. Now we'll just head on back. All right, cool. Well, I mean, not really, but this is what we need to do. So the house is now burned. So now we'll just take a photo of the ashes, which is cinders. So we can just kind of get, get rid of that. We're also going to make just one of these right now. And we're going to just put it next to this geyser. So if you put this over the geyser, it'll make both things disappear. So make sure to just take a photo of the geyser and then take a photo of the mud. So those are the missable photos for right now. Uh, so now we just need to patch up all these geysers and we can start Giorama. So. So putting mud over these geysers does get rid of both things, so you do want to get a photo of the mud and the geyser before you cover everything up. Alright everybody, here is the list of everything that you need. Just remember to make a straw house and let it burn so you can then take a picture of the cinders and take a picture of the geyser and the mud before you cover everything up. So we are just going to start with these stands here. So. This is kind of why in the follower video I said Rufio is technically optional. He likes to be high up and one of the Giorama requirements is to have a home being high up. So it's kind of just natural to move him in, although you technically don't have to. Alrighty. House placed three blocks high. No one actually has to live in there, but that's Rufio's requirement for living somewhere. So I've just kind of always put him in here. Alrighty, so we're gonna put the windmill down right here. We'll put the generator right here. And we'll just kind of lay these homes out right here. We'll give them all a chimney. Gerald also asked for a fence, so. If we can actually find it, that would be great. <laughs> ah, right here. So we'll make like 12. Okay, so we'll cover this home right here. This one's being a little weird, so we'll do it the long way around, I suppose. It's okay. Okay. He's also gonna ask for a chimney. So let's just put the chimney on every home. This is going to give us a nice culture point bump, because we actually need a lot for this place. Alrighty. So we're going to put the great crane onto this house here. And we'll put the power arm on this house over here. Okay. So we're going to move Gerald into this home right here. He just wants a chimney and a fence. That's it. Uh, we'll put Eric into this place over here. He needs to be next to the windmill. This should be close enough for him. 
All right, so we'll put Cedric in this house. And we'll move Borneo into this house over here. Okay, so we're going to make 10 pots. It does not matter where you put these. We can just stack them high like this if we want to. Yeah, so the GROM is 100% complete right now. All we gotta do is go destroy the Fire Squall for one objective, and then we just need to go and finish off the last boss in this area for the last. Alright, so we're gonna go on over to the future. So this is the Great Workshop. Yes, Gundorado Workshop. The name is taken from Mount Gundor and the village below it, Heimrata. Pasnos, the mobile stronghold of our rebel army, was once built here. Wow, that's something. Let's go to the second floor. Yeah, okay. The layout of this map is kind of confusing, and this place is pretty big as well. It takes a little while to get used to it. It's kind of hard too, because we don't really spend a lot of time here. was erased. We're in the middle of trying to bring it back. Ah, so that's what happened, is it? Everything changed so suddenly I had no idea what was going on. So do you think you'll be able to restore the workshop? Well, there's a problem. They're trying to put a stop to our building by raining embers down on Heimrata. Probably the fire squall. The fire squall? Yes, in the beginning they tried to destroy the workshop directly using that device. The workshop itself? The fire squall is a terrifying device that takes energy from the volcano and turns it into a boiling hot rain that burns up man made things. We were able to protect the workshop by destroying the device in the volcano's crater. I guess their scheme failed, so they decided to set up the fire squall in the past and prevent the workshop from ever existing. Yeah, I guess that's what happened. So we have to take out the fire squall in the past as well, right? That's right. I think the device is probably near the crater at the top of the volcano. Use this. it to blow up the fire squall. Make sure they don't find it before it goes off. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Thanks, Garrick. See you. Good luck. Alright, sweet. The thing that's kind of, I don't know if funny is the right word, but like, this is 100% Giorama right here. And the Fire Squall literally does not affect this at all whatsoever, outside of the fact that it exists. Like, these embers are literally useless if you're going for 100% Giorama. The only thing they do is burn the straw house down so you can snap a photo of the cinders. Cinders, geyser, mud. 
So now we're gonna go get a photo of the fire squall before we get rid of it. Okay, over here. On our wild adventure to Mount Gundor. Well, I don't know how wild it is. I recommend that you make a new save right here. I'll just make mine file one. For a few reasons, I recommend that you uh, make an additional save for this. That's it. So that's what's causing our fiery rain problem. Let's hurry up and destroy it. All right. We're gonna hop on Steve because he's fast, so he'll get us there the quickest. This thing, this propeller leg or whatever moves quickly, but it just feels weird. And it's hard to go in a straight line with it. Okay, so before we put the bomb down, this is a missable photo. You're just going to want to take a photo of the fire squall. Just get a picture of the top part. Doesn't matter. Just get the scoop. Alright, so we're going to save it. Don't get rid of it, because we're going to show it to Donnie. Cool. So, that's a missable photo. Make sure you get it. And that's all you got to do for it. Alright, time to move on. So, this is your last chance to get a photo of the flying battleship, by the way. This is the last time that you can get it, so... If you missed it the last two times, this is the absolute last time that you can get it in the game. Alright, so if you have the Nova Cannon, this is pretty easy. Just kind of strafe back and forth while you shoot this, and just kind of do this until the game lets you move on. It's pretty easy. Just make sure Steve doesn't go down, because if he does, you won't be able to move past this. This thing's pretty far away right now, like, his beams aren't even reaching it right now. Alright, it's coming a little closer now, should be okay. Cool. It's a good thing we have that armor increase. The thing's moving further away. So we are going to go behind this rock over here. 
and get on to max so we aren't burning fuel. Because I don't think I actually have any ride pod fuel. Alright, he's come back. This thing has a lot of HP. A lot more than Steve does, for sure. <laughs> Alright, we're almost there. Oh my goodness, okay, okay. We need a little bit of luck right now. Oh my, that's beautiful. That was so lucky. Because I don't have any ride pod fuel. We were literally a 1 HP. That's, that's just straight up luck right there. <laughs> wow. There's only like three cringy lines in this game, and that's one of them. <laughs> Alright. Well, as you saw, Monica's kind of gone, so we no longer uh, have her as our teammate. So we kind of need to go a little bit further into the dungeon with just Max. Alright, so we're just going to head down this cliff right here and go into this hole in the wall right here. And we should be able to go further into the volcano. Yeah, alright. Walking the path of flames. One, two, three, four, five. Five floors with just max. First off, since the ride pod is down, we are gonna go get Cedric to fix it for us. And Monica is not in the party anymore. We do need to go to the future. Let's just go fix Steve up first, and then we're going to go into the future. Cedric will just be here waiting for us. Such a nice guy, right? <laughs> okay, repair parts. Nice. Okay, so we're at 90% Giorama now, just from taking care of the fire squall. And the last 10% comes from clearing out the um it comes from clearing out the final boss in this place. Okay, so we're gonna go to the future because we do need an item to go forward. So I know what you're thinking, we don't have the Atlamilia, so how can we come back? You'll see. Okay, so we're just going to go to the north gate again, take the elevator to the third floor this time. Alright, and we're just right here. So you are then. 
You have your mother's eyes. That's nice to hear. I'm Galen Nagaris. I've been leading the rebels against Griffin, but it looks like my own origin point has been erased somehow. By the way, how's Monica? She was aboard Gaspard's battleship and fell into the Mount Gunder volcano. I'm heading out to save her. Is that right? Then take this with you. The bottom of Mount Gondor is a dangerous place with a flowing river of lava. The going gets very rough. Use that when flames block your path. The same flames will become your servants. You should be able to make your way across the lava. That's the legendary instrument, Firehorn. It's one of my land's greatest treasures. It will come in handy. Thanks. I'll do my best. Gaspard killed my friend, Raybrand. Raybrand was a noble king and the mightiest of knights. But Gaspar defeated him. You mustn't underestimate him. King Raybrand, Monica's father. That's right. I'm gonna make Gaspar pay. Don't worry. I know you can do it. The Atlamelia chose you. Good luck. So we're going to go back to the dungeon, clear out the floors, and get Monica back. See you at the dungeon. Just at that moment, my Atlamelia shone blue. The blue light that reached to the past. Was Monica's Atlamelia lending mine its power? Yes. So this is kind of just how Max goes back. Monica's Atlamilia pretty much helps him out. Alrighty, so back to the dungeon. Now, I recommend that you don't save over the other save. It's just a good idea to have an extra one on hand. Alrighty, so we'll put it right here. So I'm going to keep my file one save for a little while. Alright, so we're going to go into the dungeon now. Walking the path of flames. Well, if we just get on Steve and he's hovering, we aren't really walking in, are we? <laughs> so the layout of these floors is a little bit different than the other part of the uh, dungeon. Alright, well this place is, Steve is good against this dungeon, so this will be decently easy, I suppose. Alexander. We're fighting some uh, end dungeon enemies from Dark Cloud 1 right now. <laughs> These guys are a little strong, like 800 HP or something like that. Okay, so this map layout's not so bad. Nice, I like the double shot, especially when it comes in at a good time like that, it helps out. As far as I know, there is not a way to control it, you kind of just get lucky and it, it'll occasionally fire the second shot like that. Got some treasure. Uh, magic crystal, nice. I like seeing that. It's good to know where everything is. It keeps things easy that way, I suppose you could say. Holy crystal. How much XP does this thing give us? 
110 points. That's not bad. But it's not really much more. It's not really a lot, actually. I was kind of expecting a little bit more. Although that's also a really weak enemy. Alright, we got a lava golem. How much XP does one of these things give us? Is that like 200 points? It's not bad. It's better than what the bat gives you. All right, off on our wild on our wild adventure to the dead end. <laughs> Literally. Okay. Well, this guy right here has the gate key. The chimera, chimera. Not a hundred percent sure on how to say that. You got the rope. For some reason, I don't feel confident in a rope in a molten volcano. And how is Max even able to like be in this place? Like e even being near lava, isn't it like ex ri like ridiculously hot? I don't know. I don't know a lot about volcanoes, but they are. It's hotter than fire. It's definitely hotter than fire, and even being near a fire is uncomfortable. I have been near campfires, and they're pretty hot. Broadsword. Chimera. Chimera. I don't know. Pro no matter what I say, it's probably not going to be the right thing. And then even if it is the right thing, some people probably say it differently. Just like lava or lava. Both of them aren't... Not, neither one's technically right or wrong, but some people will say, say it a specific way. Like... I don't know. I when, when I hear people say Naruto, it kind of bothers me. <laughs> Especially when um, in the show they just say Naruto. And when there's people who actually watch the show and they say Naruto, it bothers me. <laughs> because it's Naruto. Like, even if you watch the sub or dub, they pronounce his name as Naruto. So, like, it's... I don't know. It's stuff like that, I guess. All right, well, that's all the enemies. We're at the second floor, burning undead. Let's look at Max's weapons, shall we? What can we do? Okay, so his hammer needs chill, and his gun needs attack. So, no matter what, both weapons need to level up. So, we'll just kind of do what's more feasible. Okay, so those guys are weak against his hammer. Okay, that just makes no sense. Why? Why, why does an undead soldier in a volcano have fish bait? That seriously makes no sense. Alright. It probably would have been better to use Steve there, but the thing doesn't have a lot of HP. We'll use Steve against that one. I'm not gonna force this, I have a key. I have a lot of keys. This guy locked himself in a chest. He has a he has paint and a useless sword. Nice. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Yeah. 
Let's get on Steve because he's faster. I might just kind of go through this on Steve, honestly. Another one, huh? Okay. Ah, uh, right here. Okay, that's not a bad drop, I suppose. Okay. So it works on the earlier... Okay. So the... It works on the earlier version of that thing's shield, but it doesn't work on this one. The Mass Tribesmen... Their shield does not defend against the Nova Cannon, but these guys, they do. Alright, we got the rope. So, let's just go get the Geostone and then leave this floor. I'm gonna get on Steve, because he's faster. There's a lot of enemies here close together. Okay, the stone's right here. May as well run into the fountain for a quick heal. Man, there's so many chests here that are locked. That's the third one. You don't see that very often. Gold Broussard. Yeah, I like forgot how to go into this thing. It's a little different here. Alright. Okay. Okay, cool. We got everything we need from this floor. Noise. Clear all without healing. That's a good thing I healed. Although I like this kind of floor. It says clear all without healing, and it has a white seal. So they're not forcing you to do it again, like they were earlier with um, the red seal. You had to play as Monica, but you had to get a medal using Max, so that gets silly. That pretty much forces you to either buy an item to break the seal, or to just do the level twice. bomb ahead. Okay. And he's dead. Oh, oh crap, he might actually be dead. Because you can't use healing items here. Yeah, Max is dead. 100%. Okay. So I think I'll just use Steve to take care of these dragons. That's probably going to be the the best thing. Well, at least we weren't like 90% done the floor or anything. So yeah, don't underestimate the dragons because they will mess your day up. <laughs> Alright, that's not so bad. This place does have catchy music, I will give it that. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Let's just get on Steve, though. Alright. <laughs> Fire gun drawn. We will take those experience points. I hope there's a Bone Lord in this level. If there is, we'll be able to uh, come back here efficiently. Because there are a few scoops to get from monsters in this chapter, unlike chapter 4. So if we can get them all in one floor, that would be ideal. Because there is a scoop to get from the Bone Lord. And there's one to get from uh, the Bomber Head. So if we can get them both in this floor, that would be ideal. 
I, I'm just gonna let Steve take care of this. He's faster than Max, and these enemies aren't gonna give Max any decent amounts of experience. Alright, there's one. And there is two. We got the all helpful map. <laughs> right when we don't need it. Well, we're never gonna need the map again as long as we have POW in the party. This enemy has the rope. I need to have Cedric fix the ride pod, so I think we're just gonna go grab the Geostone and then leave this place. Who knows where the Geostone is? Okay, that literally did nothing. I just hope the Geostone's not behind the locked door. It might be, we'll see. Although I've been opening the chests as we go, so even if it is... We probably won't have- okay, it's right here, so even better. There's a lot of dragons on this floor, actually. I haven't seen any bone lords, so we might have to do a couple levels to get the scoops required. Oh well. We got what we need from here, so we are going to head on out. Finish without healing. Okay, so this next... Okay, well, we can just do this floor. We're not going to use the ride pod for it anyway, so it's fine. Well, Max is going to get some synthesis points in this run. Probably. <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah, I didn't save after the last floor, and of course now we're lagging. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about the game crashing, so I think we're just going to speed through this floor and get out of here. Is the Geostone behind the locked door? It might be. If it is, then we have no choice. No, it's not. So let's just go get the uh, enemy holding the key and then we're gonna get out of here. And save up. I'm okay with just coming back here and doing it again. Okay, there's a Bone Lord. Maybe there will be a bomber head on this floor somewhere, too. If so, then I'll know what floor to come back to. How is definitely a useful follower to have. Okay, this bone lord sucks. These things are weird. <laughs> anyway. Moving on. We got one of two things that we need. Let's go get two out of two things that we need. There are a lot of chests on this floor, which means there are a lot of mimics on this floor. <laughs> Is this a mimic? Yeah. No. I 
think they gave Pow way too much stuff, honestly. He's basically the best follower. <laughs> Yeah, I'm probably gonna reload the game after this. Okay, so this floor is done. I think there's only one more, actually. Yes. Alright, so we're gonna reload the game. See you in a sec. Okay, we're back. Road to the River of Flames. <laughs> nice voice crack. <laughs> oh well, it happens. And it will keep happening. I, I didn't bother getting Steve fixed up because we really don't need to. I'm honestly just going to kind of run past everything because this floor isn't very efficient to run right now. So I kind of just want to uh, get what's needed and then go. And I'll come back later for the medals. Let's just, why are we not on Steve? Let's get on Steve, he's faster. Alright. Just looking for the flashing enemy. The one who holds the, the rope. Or something like that. <laughs> Alright, what's in here? And crystal. Okay. I'm honestly surprised we haven't found the flashing enemy yet, considering we literally ran past like 20 enemies. Well, I mean, it is a random spawn, so you can literally see it on the absolute first enemy or all the way at the end of the dungeon. Anything is possible. Alright. I'm, like, actually surprised we haven't seen it yet. I guess it just has to be in this room over here, then. Okay, now I just feel like we went past it or something. Oh yeah, I kind of have to heal or we're going to die. I don't have Monica to kind of tag in. And I really don't want to get hit by the dragon. If he puts stop- well, there's no white seal on this floor so I won't die, but it's still not great. Yeah, so like, I, I guess we went past the enemy that has the rope. Or maybe he's just at the end, at the exit, and we went, walked past it. Not quite what I was hoping for. Uh, now I'm just kind of hoping for the magic crystal. pretty sure Mimics can't have the gate key, so I'm not really looking for that. I actually think I just saw it. No, I don't think either of these guys have it. I'll still take them out, though, just in case. They are overlapped, so it's kind of hard to tell. Okay, there's the crystal. Okay, so where's the enemy? Okay, so we did go past- no, we didn't even check that part, actually. So, yeah, I think that would do it. Try to be fast, and it just didn't work out. Oh, well. Ah, oh, yeah, he's a dragon, alright. And he is coming, okay. So maybe I'm gonna back off a bit and do this. 
This is th the better way to go, I think. Alrighty, cool. And we'll take care of this guy, why not? Well, you know, we're so close now. We may as well just get the level for the gun. <laughs> Do we need him? Yeah. All right. That's okay. All right. We got what we need. Time to get out of here. Boom. Can this thing upgrade now? No, it needs more attack. But I can probably just put those points in manually. So, yeah, I think we need to go into chapter six before we'll be able to upgrade that thing. That is fine. Well, I kind of got Max to the point where I wanted him anyway, so it's fine. We don't need Steve for the next fight. In fact, he's basically useless for the next fight. We are going to back out of the dungeon, though, just so Max heals up for free. Don't have to use items that way. All right, back in we go. We're gonna save on up. I don't know why it brought us all the way back to the beginning, but let's not be, let's not be all the way at the beginning. Nice. This is actually a scoop, but we're going to save that for the next video. And so is this right here also. But we're going to save that for the next video because it's not missable. Right on schedule, I see. Monica! Worry about your own hide, boy. Your little journey's about to come to a screeching halt. You're still wet behind the ears. I'll show you what true power is. I gotta say, Max against this guy is not very fun in my opinion. I like, I like fighting Gaspard, but I think Monica better suits the fight because it's like fighting a sword wielder with a sword wielder, you know? It just feels better in my opinion. I mean, like, all, all I do is just slap him with my hammer twice, block, and repeat until we win. <laughs> Your hammer is the best way to go, too. Yeah, just like that. Once again. Why do you refuse to give up, boy? I won't forgive what you've done. You say you won't forgive what I've done. But why? You're chasing after my mother. You'll hurt her if I don't stop you. Your mother? You fight to protect your mother. Ha! How juvenile. But you know, I used to be that way too. Huh? 
I had a mother too, just like everyone else. Ha! Ha! Ah! Monica! So you hate me too, eh? Well, it's only natural, since I'm your father's sworn enemy. <laughs> <laughs> We're the same, you and I. Exactly the same. What are you talking about? We're nothing like you. I just wanted to protect my mother, too. Just like you two. I was a loathsome child. Born to a changeling father and a human mother. The humans called me Demon Child. Despite that, my parents and I were able to live happily in that small village. But when I was still a small boy, my father fell ill. Mother tried desperately to nurse him, but it was all for nothing. My father fell into a never-ending sleep. After he died, the other villagers chased us out of town calling us freaks and monsters. They had always feared my father and had just been pretending to be nice to us. My mother tried her best to protect me from it all. After that, we traveled from village to village. It was a tough life those days were. Mother even had to resort to stealing sometimes in order to make sure I had enough food to eat. The exhaustion of always being on the road, the censure from the humans. The stress of it all made Mother terribly ill. Gaspard, it's time to say goodbye. Mother, what do you mean? I'm not going anywhere. Can't we stay together? Listen carefully, Gaspard. No matter what, you mustn't think ill of people. No good can ever come out of hatred. You'll be on your own from now on. Don't let the loneliness get to you. You must continue this journey. You must find something you want to protect. Even if it takes your whole life. Search for that. You must live your life searching for that. Until you find it. Until then, you must never stop this journey. What? What am I supposed to find? Mother? Can't you see? I don't understand. I know if anyone can find it, you can. Guess what? Mother? Mother! Open your eyes! Mother! Mother! When did my journey end? I haven't done anything my mother asked. It's just hatred that drives me now. I just... I didn't have anything worth protecting. Gaspard. But you... You have something. Something to protect. To protect even if it costs your life. You must continue your journey. You mustn't give up now. Could you show me where your journey will take you? I'd like to see it too. The end of my own journey. Farewell. I will not forgive this. This betrayal. What the? You. You're one of mine. If you don't kill them, 
you will live to regret it. That voice, could it be Griffin's? What's happening to him? We'll have to fight him. Gaspard. All right, so make sure you just grab a photo of... We missed. Okay, well, he's going to shoot out stuff. I don't want Max to die. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to just take a photo of him. Just get a picture of him, and that's it. He is the last missable scoop in this chapter. Don't get rid of the photo, because we got to show it to Donnie. All right, cool. So we're just going to have Monica take care of this. Nope, I guess we're not going to have Monica take care of this. Max is going to have to take care of it. <laughs> that was an accident. Alright, so I don't really want to use my resurrection powder here, so let's just have him heal and kind of take a step back. His gun doesn't do anything. So we need to kind of get in melee range, it seems. Alright, this is not going too great. I have a lot of stamina drinks, so how about I use one? Okay, well our gun does work now, so maybe I'll give him a little bit of distance. The stamina drink is kind of carrying us. If you don't take him out quickly, he goes into the lava, which I actually think he's doing right now. All right, he's done. Gaspard. Ugh. How sad. Ugh. Oh. Guess I won't be able to see your journey to its end. <sighs> when I see my mother again, I'll tell her that at the end, I finally met you too. Gaspard. to find it. Welcome home, Gaspard. Damn, damn, damn that Griffin! Monica! Alright, well, as you guys can see, we are at 100% Giorama, so even though it said 80% earlier, all you gotta do is go through the story, and you'll pretty much get to where you need to be automatically after that. So, it's time to go to the future. been completely restored. All thanks to you. 
We were just doing our part. Monica. Yes? I have something I must give you. Really? What is it? Huh? Here. What's this? That's the sword your father, Raybrandt, left to me. He asked me to give it to you if anything should happen. It's my father's sword? That sword is imbued with great power. A normal person could never make use of it. But with you as you are now, I'm sure you could draw out its strength. Now is the time for you to take that sword and fight alongside your father, Monica. Father! <laughs> That's Pasnos. We built it for our struggle against Griffin. It's the secret ace up the rebel army's sleeve. Pasnos! should be starting soon. Are you prepared? Right. All hands on deck! Preparing Pasnos launch! destroyed a mountain and created a whole army of golems. Max and Monica are acting like they've never seen one before. I guess they forgot Balance Valley. They're a magical force to be reckoned with. What should we do? Don't worry. We'll make them taste the power of Pasmos. Ready the weapons! Yes, sir.
Now, fire! Lord Agaris, Elena has arrived. I hope you weren't hurt. No, it was tough going, but the bombardment from Pozno saved us. Max. Mother. Oh, you've gotten so big. I'm so happy to see you again. Me too. How's your father? Oh, he's fine. I'm sure that he wants to see you too. Yes. Mother? What? Can't you come back? Back to our time? Max, please understand. This is the place where I have to be. I'm from this time, not yours. But... even so, that's... that's... that's just selfish! That's just so... Max... <laughs> if that's the case... I mean, if that's how things are, then you shouldn't have come to my time in the first place. Max, I'm sorry. No one can exist in two separate times. So, you're both going. Yes, we got the word from Luna. And then we're gonna find Griffin and do what needs to be done. I hope you will, Max. Monica. You don't want to talk with Elena? No. It's fine. I understand. Be careful out there. You're our only hope. Bring the light back to our world. We're counting on you. All right. All right, so we're gonna go back on over to Venicio. We need to go and visit the Luna Lab, because Uh, just so you're all aware, you will lose the Blackstone one. Uh, so if you have any photos of it, if any photos you still need to get, make sure you go and grab them now. Um, you will get the train back later on in the game, but it's a good idea to have it. As soon as possible. Proud of the end results. 
It is so cool. Um, isn't it a little, uh, gaudy? Well, now that you mention it, I guess you could say that. Hey, are you picking holes in my design? You just don't get it, do you? He was in charge of the design. Listen, this train can travel through space and time. I just figured it should have a look that sets it apart and matches its abilities, you know? <sighs> uh. I think it looks cool. Exactly. At least you understand. Well, whatever. If it gets us 10,000 years in the past, that's all that matters. That won't be a problem. Well, then let's go. Be careful out there. He's a formidable enemy, that griffin. Could be tough operating this thing. Not to worry. Osmond will handle the Ixion's controls. Leave it to me. Max and Monica, good luck to you both. Thanks for all you've done. We'll do our best, Dr. Knob. Wow! Yuck, the inside's just as bad. All systems, go! Well, I know there isn't a whole lot you can do about it now, but I really don't think much of the design. Hmm. <laughs> Just kidding! How about we get going? Right! Let's go! Get ready to 10,000 years in the past! Chapter 6, When Two Eras Collide. So this is 10,000 years ago. Kind of gloomy. Look! There's only one moon in the sky! What's going on? Did we land on a whole different world? I guess even the sky looked different in this time. So Emperor Griffin is somewhere in there, huh? Yes, I can feel him. Griffin, he's in this palace. Finally, time to set things right. I'll wait for you here. I hope it all goes well. Okay, let's get going. All right, everybody. So we are going to leave it here for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to get all non-missable photos in Chapter 5. So, have a good day, and we'll see you then. Bye.